Hi friends, my name is Shreni Jain and in this video we will study about energy and power signal for discrete time signal. So in the previous video we studied about the continuous time signal and we mastered that topic for continuous time. And here in this video we will master for the discrete time signal. So again we will see some basic, then we will see the sword example, then we will see the special cases. Now that was important for exam point of view and also some tricks so that you can solve the question very fast, you can verify your answer. So that we will see. So first start with the basic. So the quick basic that we have studied already in the continuous time signal like if the signal is periodic or if the given function is non-periodic. If it is periodic it is a power signal. If it is a non-periodic it is energy signal. Power signal means what? Power is constant and energy is infinity. Energy signal means what? Energy is constant and power is zero. Correct? So for periodic power signal. Power signal means power is constant. Non-periodic energy signal. Energy signal means energy is constant. And we also saw the trick like there we have two types and the trick was either a square by 2 or a square. So if you don't know this, please do watch my video of energy and power signal for continuous time signal. You will get this. What is this trick? And that's it. So this was the basic we studied in depth in that video. Now let's talk that for discrete time signal. So for discrete time signal from the question you will get x of n and from that you have to find mod of x of n and after that so the first point is what you have to find mod of that. Second point is if you have to find the energy signal then you have to do the summation n small n is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of x of n the whole square. So the third point is finding the power. How to find power? Limit capital N tends to infinity all right then we have the 1 by 2 n plus 1 then we have summation of n small n is equal to minus n to n now you can note that this capital N is tending to infinity and this small n is ranging from minus n to n and under that we have inside the summation we have mod of x of n the whole square so from the question you will get x of n so the first point take mod of that so take the positive value second point is if you have to find energy summation minus infinity to infinity x of n square so the answer would be in joules if you have to find the power limit capital n tends to infinity 1 by 2 n plus 1 summation of small n is equal to minus n to n mod of x of n the whole square and the answer would be in watt because this is power now let's look at some example. So before solving any of the solved example, the important formula you should know is about energy. As we saw in the previous slide that when we talk about energy, the formula was summation minus infinity to infinity mod of x of n the whole square. So suppose I have some case like summation of 0 to infinity a raised to n and this is because of some function x of n. And if this is the case that we have summation 0 to infinity a raised to n, the answer would be 1 by 1 minus a. When we talk about power, what we had limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2 raised to capital N plus 1 summation of small n is equal to minus capital N raised to capital N and under the function we had mod of x of n the whole square and suppose I have this case like summation of n1 to n2 of 1 raised to n the formula would be n2 minus n1 plus 1. So these are the important formula for energy this would only be the formula for power this would only be the formula. Now let's look at the solved example. So the first example we have is x of n is equal to u of n. If this is the case, first I want to say that this is power signal. How? Because this is periodic. So periodic means it is a power signal. So directly find the power. Power is equal to limit n tends to infinity. Then we have 1 by 2 n plus 1. Then summation minus n to n. But because this is u of n, correct? u of n means it will be valid from 0 to infinity correct now because it is in terms of n we will say that 0 to n and then we have this square that is equal to 1 correct so we have this and that's it if we have this what we can say if we have summation 0 to n 1 raised to n correct then the answer would be n2 minus n1 so n minus 0 plus 1 so the answer is n plus 1 so this value is equal to now n plus 1 so n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 where limit capital N tends to infinity. Now divide everything by N. So limit N tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by N upon we have 2 plus 1 by N. Why we did this? Because 
Now if limit n tends to infinity, this value is equal to 0 and this value is equal to 0. Why? Because this is equal to 1 by infinity that is equal to 0. Simple. So the answer would be 1 by 2. Now this is important. That's why this is important. For power, it would always be in the case n2 upon n1 that is upper limit is n2, lower limit is n1. We have 1 raised to n then we can say it is equal to n2 minus n1 plus 1. So we used here and then we substituted it here and then we got this and what we did divide everything by n then we substituted the limit and then we get the answer. So the power is equal to 1 by 2 and the unit is watt. Now let's take some another example like a raised to n u of n is equal to x of n. Now this is non-periodic. Why? Because only u of n is periodic. If you multiply anything with that it will become non-periodic. So this is non-periodic means it will have energy signal and the formula is minus infinity to infinity this square then we will have a raised to 2n and u of n correct. Now you can take the limit because u of n ranges from 0 to infinity. So 0 to infinity then we have a raised to 2n. Now the formula is pretty simple. For energy I always say that if it is 0 to infinity some a raised to n then the answer would be 1 by 1 minus a. Now the a here is a raised to 2n. So this something is equal to a. Correct? So what is this a square? So the answer would be 1 minus a square. Do not get confused. It is something raised to n. Then the answer would be 1 minus that something. So what is something here? a square. So 1 by 1 minus something. So something is a square. So 1 by 1 minus a square. Simple. So this is the answer and energy is this. Now taking this as the generalized equation like for a raised to n u of n we know that it is non-periodic so it is energy signal and the energy value is 1 by 1 minus a square. So you can solve any sum like if I have minus of 0 0.5 raised to n u of n then you know that this is also non-periodic this is also energy and the answer would be in the form of this. So it would be e raised to 1 by 1 minus this square so 0 0.25. So this would be the answer. Similarly, if you have somewhat like 1 by 4 raised to n u of n, then you also know that this also land in this form a raised to n u of n and the answer would be it would be 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 square. So simple. So this is the generalized case. I hope you are getting this. This is the example one where you can see negative sign is there. But as we take the mod, this will be gone. Then this is the example two. Now let's look at some special cases. So next case is about ramp. As I said in my continuous time signal videos for energy and power that for ramp it is energy is infinity and power is infinity. So it is neither energy nor so neither energy nor power. So for ramp this is the case. So the next example is suppose I have cos of pi by 2 n. Then what is the energy and what is the power? Now because cos is periodic it will have power signal. So directly find power. Power is limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2 n plus 1 summation of n is equal to minus n to n and the square of this cos square pi by 2 n. Now, now we have to solve this. Now this is pretty important. Why? Because this is equal to cos square theta and cos square theta can be said as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 by the trigo formula. Now this can be splitted as 1 by 2 plus cos 2 theta by 2. Now take the individual summation like summation of minus n to n of half plus summation of minus n to n of cos 2 theta and the 1 by uh, cos 2 theta by 2 correct. Now this value is equal to 0. You can solve that and you can see that this value is equal to 0. When we talk about this value this would be summation of minus n to n. Take this half outside we will get 1 by n 1 raised to n that is equal to 1 in the inside correct and now the value of this is equal to 2n plus 1. How? So how we got 2n plus 1? The formula was summation of n1 n2 1 raised to n. If this is the case then the answer would be n2 minus n1 plus 1. Correct? So now n2 here is n, n1 here is minus n. So it would be 2n. So that is the answer 2n and the overall value is also half is present. So 2n plus 1 upon 2 is the complete answer of this. Alright and this is already equal to 0. Now substitute this value in here in the numerator. So if you substitute that you will get limit n tends to infinity you will get 1 by 2 2n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 correct and the answer would be 1 by 2. 
so for periodic signal power is constant and the answer is 1 by 2 let's talk about some more special cases suppose i have e raised to j pi by 2 plus 4 pi by 7 if this is the case this means it is a complex exponential all right now for complex exponential mod of x of n is equal to 0 uh, sorry it is equal to 1 as i have already mentioned in my continuous time signal how the value of complex exponential mod is equal to 1 because it is cos theta plus j sin theta taking the mod of that would be root of cos square theta plus sin square theta that is equal to 1 so this is x of n and the mod value is this and if this is complex exponential this is periodic signal so the we have to find the period so period would be limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2 n plus 1 summation of minus n to n of 1 correct so 1 square would be this only so 1 raised to n the, the value of this is 2 n plus 1 as we already saw in our previous example so 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 get cancels and the answer is sorry answer is 1 so this is cancelled answer is 1 so for periodic signal power is constant and for here power is 1 Let's take some interesting case. Suppose I have x of n is equal to a raised to delta of n. Then what is the value? So you have to note that for delta of n, it is energy signal because it is non-periodic. Delta is always non-periodic. So it is energy signal. And now if it is energy signal, then you know the formula summation minus infinity to infinity and x of n square. But for delta, what you can say for delta, it is valid only for 0. So 0 to 0 a square. So the answer is only a square. So the energy is constant for energy signal and this is possible because our given function is non-periodic. So for non-periodic it is energy signal, energy is constant and the value is a square. Simple but what if I talk about that x of n is only a square then it is periodic and what would be the answer? Let's see. So our case was suppose our x of n is only amplitude a then what would be the answer? So it is periodic because it is only amplitude. If it is periodic it is power signal. So what is the power uh, formula limit n tends to infinity then we have 1 by 2 n plus 1 then we have summation minus n to n then we have a square because in inside we write x of n square correct so mod of x of n square is a square then you can say that you can take this constant out so and this would be 1 raised to n now this value is equal to 2 n plus 1 this 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 get cancelled so the answer is a square now let me cover two very special cases two very special cases Suppose I have x of n is equal to n and let's say it is equal to n is equal to 0 to 4. If this is the case, then what is the energy of that? Now pretty simple. Always remember that energy is equal to minus infinity to infinity if limits are not given. If limit is given, then you have to write that. So 0 to 4, correct? So energy is equal to 0 to 4 and the mod of x of n square, correct? So what would be it? 0 to 4 and this would be the function so the function is x of n is equal to n so it would be 0 1 2 3 4 so these are the amplitudes and that's why x of n square would be first it would be for 0 so x of n square correct for first it would be for 0 that is x of 0 the whole square then it would it would be for 1 x of 1 the whole square and x of 2 the whole square up till x of 4 the whole square so this is the case now Substitute the value for x of 0, answer is 0, so 0 square. For x of 1, the answer is 1, so 1 square. x of 2, answer is 2, so 2 square. 3, 3 square, then we have 4, 4 square. So the answer is 30. So this is the case like for graph. Let's take one more example. Suppose like the previous, in the previous we had equation like this was the equation. Now instead of this, suppose I have x of n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 0 to 3. So plot the graph n is equal to let's say this is n. So let's say this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So for all of that the amplitude is 1. So what is energy of that? Energy is equal to summation 0 to 3. Small n is 0 to 3 because range is that. Then we have mod of x of n the whole square. And then oh, again open this what you will get x of 0 square plus x of 1 square plus x of 2 square plus x of 3 square x of 0 is amplitude 1 so 1 square x of 1 amplitude is 1 so 1 square x of 2 amplitude is 1 so 1 square and again the same so the answer would be 4 so this was according to the graph how you can find the energy now this is the last example of this video and very important example example is we have x of n is equal to 1 by 2 raised to n 
and n ranges from n is greater than 0. So for positive side, the answer is 1 by 2 raised to n. For the negative side, the answer is 3 raised to n. Simple. So the range here would be n ranges from 0 to infinity. But here n ranges from minus infinity to minus 1. Simple. Now this is important. Now you have to find energy. Now what is the formula for energy? n, what is whatever n ranges right there, whatever n ranges right there. For n is equal to 0 to infinity, this is valid. So square of that will be 1 by 4 n. I am taking the square because inside that we always write mod of x of n the whole square. So tell me about this small n ranging from minus infinity to minus 1. Square of this would be 9 raised to n. How I am doing 3 n square. Taking this 2 inside, it would be 3 square n. So 3 square is 9. Now solving this is very difficult. How? This you already know. If you have summation of 0 to infinity a raised to n, answer would be 1 by 1 minus a. So tell me the answer. It would be 1 by 1 minus 4. It is pretty simple. But now what about this? So let's see. So our question is how to solve this. Correct? First point is use the formula. Inverse this. 1 would be down. Infinity would be up. And inverse the sign of the function. So 9 raised to minus 1 raised to n. So this is the first step. Now the second step is what if I say the small n is equal to 0. What would be the value? Something raised to 0. Something raised to 0 means the value would be 1. So what I am doing is subtracting and adding 1. So plus 1 minus 1. The value anyhow is equal to 0 here. But why I am doing this? This value is equal to when n is equal to 0. So take this value in the summation. So this would be summation of small n is equal to 0 to infinity 9 raised to minus 1 raised to n minus 1. So take a quick recap over here. What we did? Inverse the limit. Change the sign of the limits and of the function. Correct? Then what we said that what if I say n is equal to 0? What would be my value? If n is equal to 0, my value would be 1. So I added 1, I subtracted 1 and I took this one inside this summation. So now my small n ranges from 0 to infinity 9 raised to minus 1 raised to n minus 1. Now you know the formula of this. What is the formula? Summation of 0 to infinity something. Now this is a raised to n correct? And the answer would be 1 by 1 minus a. Now this you can write 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 9 minus 1. So the answer here is 35 by 24. Now this example piecewise function was important for this reason only. If you got this, you can solve any question of piecewise. So the trick is for periodic signal we have two types. One is cos, sine and then we have u of n. Other one is we had this. So on the other side we had the complex exponential and we have only amplitude. For this the answer would be power is always equal to a square by 2. Like this would be like a into cos of omega n something like this. Example let's say phi cos of omega n. Then what is the answer? Power signal and it power would be equal to 25 by 2. Simple. So the example is pretty simple. For a function that is periodic and the periodic functions look like if it looks like a cos of omega n or it looks like a sin of omega n or it looks like a u of n only a u of n suppose it is a raised to n u of n it is a non-periodic so that is the difference i am talking about only a u of n example phi into u of n so this is the example then it is periodic signal power is equal to 25 by 2 why because our trick is that if we talk about such cases like complex exponential or only amplitude, the answer would be a square. So power is equal to a square. Example, let's say we have phi into e raised to j omega n. Then what is the answer? 25. Why? Because for complex exponential, the power value is equal to a square. So the answer would be only a square. But when we talk about this cos sine this u of n, the answer would be a square by 2. So this was the trick for the periodic signal and how to find power of that. तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट